What's up everyone, my name is Cody Engel, and in this video we are going to talk about the filter operator on the collections library. So with that let's just go ahead and get started. So we will look at our collections package, we will create a new Kotlin file, and this one will just be called filter. So we'll close out of that, we'll zoom in a little bit, and then we will create a main function. And so just to kind of get started, we will start off by only showing books that have multiple authors. So for that, we'll do val, call it multiple authors, and then that will equal library dot books. And then the operator that we want to use is just the filter. So that will just give it a variable name of book because the filter will be books. And in order to do that, we would just do book.authors. And since authors is a list, we can get size. Then we can say only give me books that have a author's list size that's greater than one. So with that, if we do the also scope function, we can do it dot for each and then print line and then we can do it. So this will just print out all of the books that have multiple authors. If we go ahead, we run this, you'll notice so we have zero to one with those authors and all of that. We can make it a little bit more uh, a little bit easier to see by just doing map. We'll create a new string. It'll be it.title by it.authors and then we can use that join to string operator just to give their name. So if we run that again we will then see we have 0 to 1 by Peter Thiel, Blake Evans. Same for it doesn't have to be crazy at work, how democracies die, rework, all of that. That is how the filter operator works, um, kind of at a more basic example. you When you have the filter function, you're just giving it this predicate to run just to verify whether or not it is... Um, should be included or excluded. If we look at the filter function itself, you'll notice that it expects a function which will return a Boolean. And so the documentation, it says it returns a list containing only elements matching the given predicate. So if it matches, it should return true. If it doesn't match, it should return false. And so with our books, we're just saying the size greater than one, so anything greater than one will return true. Let's get into something a little bit more complicated. So let's say we want to know the nonfiction books. So we can say library.books and then filter where we have our book and then what we want to do is we want to use what's called a testing predicate. And we use this because the genres, we have more than one genre. So we have a list of genres. And the testing predicates allow us to say that only give us ones that have, you know, either contain a nonfiction, doesn't have a nonfiction, or is only nonfiction. We'll go through each of those examples. So the first one is going to be book, genres, and then we're going to use the any testing predicate, which is going to be testing on the genre. And then we do genre, and then is genre nonfiction. And if we come back up here and copy our map and also function, we will use these just to make it a little bit easier to read kind of what we're seeing. So we'll have the title and then is, just to say that the book title is, and then we'll just give it the genre. So that would be it dot genres. 
and that should be it. So we can go ahead, we can run this and see what it looks like. So we can see zero to one is business, why we sleep is self-help. Yeah, so this looks kind of like you would expect the compound effect, it's business and self-help. Cool, so that took a book that has, as long as any of them have a value of nonfiction, then it will return true for that predicate. Now we can do another one though. So I'm just gonna copy this real quick and then we're gonna say val not fiction equals library dot books. And so these are going to be ones that are not fiction books. And what that looks like is we'll say filter and then book again. And then we'll say book dot genres Oops, book, not books. And then we'll say none. So we'll use the none testing predicate. And again, just because this one is a genre, we'll say genre is genre fiction. From there, we will just paste our map in also again and go ahead and rerun it. And then, kind of like you would expect, it's giving us the same values back just because you wouldn't have a fiction book, which is also a nonfiction book. So those are kind of, those are, are mutually exclusive. The way that the none is working, though, is you can still say, like, the true option for this. So you're saying it is a fiction. So if this returns true for any of these genres, then this filter is going to ultimately be false. So it's going to throw that out. There's one more to talk about, which is going to be with our all function. So we will go ahead and get this set up. And so this is going to be for only books that are all fiction. So we'll say val all fiction equals library dot books, and then filter again with the book and then book genres all with the genre and then genre is genre fiction then if we go ahead and run the same code just to see what it what it prints out you'll notice that now it's giving us the science fiction with fantasy science fiction all of that so with each of these testing predicates, it all comes down to what you ultimately care about. Because while these are able to return the same value or the same set of books, they're doing so just because, well, we're, we're using this top level fiction, nonfiction, like we already sort of have that in place. There are times where maybe the book or maybe something can be both. So let's say for whatever reason, maybe a book is both fiction and nonfiction. Using this any may not be what you want because maybe you only want ones that are just nonfiction. So if they, if again, for whatever reason, it's fiction and nonfiction, the any will still return true for that, where what you might want to do is say all. So all is going to, if it finds out that one of them is nonfiction, so the book is fiction and nonfiction both, then all isn't going to return true for that. And then likewise, none is a good way to say, well, don't return any that are of this type. Those are our testing predicates. They can come in handy anytime that you're testing a uh, list or a collection of values on a filter. Another one, which is also useful, is using the, the opposite of the default filter. So what that is, is called a filter not. So let's say that we only want fiction books that are not by JK Rowling. So we can do that by saying, we'll call it all fiction not JK equals all fiction. So just using the, the list that we've already built up. And then we'll say filter not, and then book, and then book, dot 
authors dot any so if any of them equal this it will return true so we say it dot name equals j k rowling and then again we'll just copy our map just to be able to print out the values and then if we go ahead and run it we should see only fiction books which are not by jk rowling so the filter not it is functionally the same as saying like filter and then if we add like the not operator here and then run it we should see the same values and then likewise if we remove that we should only see ones that are by jk rowling so filter not is useful when you don't want to clutter up the actual filter with a with an opposite with like a negation operator so use the filter not for for situations where you want only ones that return false to be returned so that's it for the filter operators these are especially useful um, the testing predicates you may end up using a little bit less often honestly just this filter with this simple check almost like an if else check is what i tend to use most of the time when i'm doing a filter whereas filter any is is again those are useful when you are testing a collection of elements as part of the filter so with that thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you want to watch more videos like this be sure to subscribe and other than that i will catch you in the next one